This is my brand new fully tricked out fishing kayak that I only paid $430 for the boat and all the accessories. Look at how nice this kayak is. Plastic sit on top kayak, comes with three rod holders, ready to fish right out of the box. Flip up seat, I added a couple accessory rails here so you can add cup holders, you can add GPS mounts, you can add camera mounts. I added a nice quick paddle holder mount here which is awesome for fishing. Kayak comes with all types of bungee straps on it so you can strap tackle boxes up there. You can strap your tackle boxes in the back. Right in here, the kayak has storage built right into it. You can have other accessories, other tackle boxes down there. You can put the rods in the back, troll with the rods in the back. You've got a rod holder right there that has a quick latch on it so you can lock the rod holder in place or you can unlock it, pull it out. Let me show you how I put this together. Starting at Tractor Supply, the base kayak was only $299. I'm on my way to Tractor Supply nearby. They had the kayak in stock for $299 and I've already put my order in for it so it should be ready to go when I get to the store. Now this is gonna be a great first test for this kayak to see how portable and lightweight it is. I don't have a trailer. I don't have a big truck. I just have a small SUV with a roof rack. Okay, here we are, tractor supply. We got a lot of cool stuff in here. Now, we're gonna see how good these kayaks are. They got the chickens here today. They got the kayaks here in the outdoor area along with a lot of boats. Look at this. They got a lot of cool stuff here. Look at this, kids kayaks. They got full on bass boats here, paddle boats. I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's the one. Check this out. Look at this, guys. 10 foot. Ooh. Can't wait to get it up in the car. Okay, strap down. All right, we're going to take this baby to 70 miles an hour. Really nice. I'm really impressed with it so far. So we've got bungee straps in the front and in the back here. We've got, looks like a dry well on the back here and also dry well in the middle. Cup holder in the middle, although that cup holder looks a little bit small. I think anything's gonna fall out of that. I'm gonna open this. Anyway, yeah, this seat, I don't know, looks pretty thin. Pretty thin layer of padding right there. Almost like you're sitting on the plastic. I would like to get little more cushioned of a seat We've got the two rod holders in the back here we got a star mount right here on the side this is the rod holder that goes into the star mount look at this here this little dry well I didn't know this about these kayaks but let me open this up and this is like gives you access to the total inside of the kayak look at this I can put my entire arm in here so that's kind of cool because I can put things in dry bags maybe or little tackle boxes and slide them all around in here. So this could hold a lot of gear. And check this out, while I was in here, I found this. This is like a little uh, punch out from a hole of the hull of the kayak. So probably when they were manufacturing it, it got left in there, but look at this. Look at how thick, can you see that? Look at how thick this material is. It's almost a quarter inch thick. So the lid here actually goes down snap shut and it's got a bungee cord to help lock it in place and of course let's take a look in the back one see if there's any goodies in here but yeah look at this all this access a lot of room we could store a lot of things inside these wells that's pretty cool you know what if i set up like some camping gear as long as i can get it through this hole we could load up this kayak for a camping adventure so let's check out the seat back here i've got the straps adjusted so that when i put my back on it a lot of the weight will be suspended on the straps and not so much on the back of the hinge here. This part of the seat looks pretty comfy. This looks pretty thin, but let's try it out. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't want to sit in here for eight hours, but a couple hours should be fine on this seat. All right, next up, let's attach these rails here and add all of our accessories. I'm at the lake here. We're gonna do our first fishing test on the kayak, but first I'm gonna add some accessory rails. So I got these accessory rails. They were about two for 20 bucks off Amazon. So I'm gonna attach these onto the kayak. Also from Amazon, I got this kayak paddle holder that's gonna go onto this accessory rail. Now what this is gonna allow me to do is quickly snap the paddle into the holder so I can deal with the fishing rods. Now check that out, it's got some wheels there so the paddle will snap right in place. Once the track is on, all the accessories go on real easy and nice. Let's see how it goes in. Beautiful, look at that. Well, it's a little, 
There goes the paddle right there. I don't know. It's a little wobbly. I don't know. I'm not super happy with that. It's not the best. There is a bungee cord that came on the kayak that I could additionally strap it down with. Look at that. That's that's pretty secure. I'll probably just use this right here. I won't even use this. And also what I did get from Amazon as well for very cheap is a tether. So this is like a bungee tether and this stays on the paddle. So this stays attached to the paddle like this and then it snaps onto the kayak. So that way if you drop your paddle, you're never actually gonna lose it because it's physically strapped to the kayak. I found a better way to mount this. I put one of the rod holders back in the back rail and the other rod holder can sit up here in the front rail like that. And that is a much more secure hold, holding the paddle in the front and the back. And what's nice about these paddle holders, they're offsets, so it still allows me to use my rails for the other accessories. Tackle box is gonna go right up here under the bungee cords. Got my water bottle right here. Let me stick the rods on. I'll show you what I'm gonna be fishing with today. I've got my bait caster combo from Bass Pro Shops. This thing was about $200 pretty nice rod and I've also got my telescoping rod that I got off Amazon this thing is pretty cheap probably about 50 bucks but this thing's awesome man I've caught so many fish off this telescoping rod pro tip try and keep the seat down and keep the seat covered right before uh, right until you get on because man out in the Sun this seat got 200 degrees you don't want to sit on a hot seat so try and keep it closed or keep it covered until you're ready to actually sit down so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the paddle on so here goes the paddle tether clipped on so I can't lose it and I'm going to put the paddle right here in the paddle holders. I'm getting in the kayak right now. Always wear the life jacket. I've got an inflatable life jacket so it stays a little bit more low profile but always keep it on. Um, you know, we always want to prepare for the worst and it's always better to just know that you're going to come home safely. You know, if I flip this kayak, hit my head on here when I'm conscious, this life jacket could save my life. So always wear the life jacket. And also I've got my keys and my phone zipped up in my pocket so they won't get lost in the water if I do flip over. So here we go. <laughs> All right. Always be aware of your rods when you're working with your paddle. Okay, this is a mess. I need to get, oh, this is terrible. I need to get water deflectors for the paddle. For some reason, it did not come with it in the box. It should have come with it. So every stroke I take, I'm just dumping water all over myself here. I'm already getting my shoes wet, getting my clothes wet. So that's a little bit annoying. Definitely get some water deflectors. One thing I'm not super happy with right away, there's water scuppers right under the seat and I got in really hard and water splashed up onto my butt already. So my butt's a little bit wet already. So it's not the driest kayak. Um, that's kind of annoying. And the other thing too, like I said, this paddle here, paddle's not the, not the greatest. I might need to upgrade this paddle and I definitely need some water deflectors for the paddle as well. The other thing you gotta be careful of is the paddle holder that's hanging off the side of the kayak. I did accidentally hit it once with the paddle already. So definitely we gotta be careful of that. I like this setup, but I think there's some things that we need to fine tune. I kept fiddling with my tackle box up in that front area there and I kept having to balance and reach up front there. But then I realized that this actually fits in this little well here. So check this out, I can open up this little well. I've got all my tackle and look at that. It just barely squeezes right down in there and I can have uh, my pliers and my fish holders ready to go in case I catch a fish. Very cool. Now I have to remember to pull this out before I lift up the kayak. Otherwise it'll slide forward or backwards into the hull of the kayak but this is pretty convenient to have this right here like this okay so right now i'm paddling against the wind and i'm moving pretty good i'm actually impressed i think this kayak moves pretty good through the water i don't know i haven't tried very many kayaks so i don't have much to compare it to but i'm actually pretty happy with how smoothly this thing is going through the water so i found a cool little clean spot on the shore 
somewhere where I think maybe a snakehead or something would hang out. This is exactly why I have fishing kayak so I can get to those hard to reach places. Now I'm gonna stand up and sight cast this thing and see how stable this is, thing for, this is for standing. Not bad, not bad, pretty good actually. Okay, so not bad, not the most stable, but I'm, I got pretty good balance and I feel like I could comfortably stand and fish out of this kayak. I would say if you don't have good balance, maybe don't try it. So one thing you got to be careful about when you are kayak fishing is your rod sticking up in the back. I just attempted to go under a very low hanging bridge. I forgot my rods were sticking up and look at this. I'm in a real predicament now. Let's we'll see if you can see this. My rods are totally jammed up and I'm not sure if I should go forward or backwards. I'm just going to, oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Both the rods made it through. Oh my gosh, that was one of the dumbest things I've done in a long time. All the eyelets are still on. Rod's not broken. Check the bait caster. Yeah, all right, the rods look good. That was a really stupid move. Wind's starting to blow in pretty good here. Air got a little bit cooler. That means we got a good rain or thunderstorm on our way. Means that I need to play it safe and get back. Once I hit the dock here, it took me probably less than 60 seconds to get everything out of the kayak and up onto the dock. And then I can just take the kayak and bring it right up here. Already got the kayak loaded up on the roof. Big South Florida storm is blowing in. They can come in really fast. Once I hit the dock, probably took me less than five minutes to get the kayak out of the water all the accessories off get it on top and get it strapped down really happy with the quick in and out of the kayak fishing i gotta say i'm pretty impressed so far i ordered a gopro camera mount and extension arm it came with the starport base i had to cut a hole saw into the hull of the kayak to mount the starport base but once it goes in there you can lock it in into the starport base and it's really nice beautiful location but there is a very low hanging bridge there I'm not gonna make the same mistake that I did yesterday I'm gonna make sure that I lower my fishing rods right now so I don't snap them off but what's easy is this one here the telescoping rod I can just drop this back a few rungs like that and reel it up and that one's nice and short see this guys this is a pond apple tree and let me see yeah there's a few here let me show you here is a, this is a pond apple. This one's not, it's still pretty hard. It's not ripe yet, but um, these actually do taste really, really good when the tree is growing in fresh water. If it's growing in brackish water or near salt water, the, the meat of the fruit can taste pretty disgusting. But here, this one's probably pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Maybe we can ripen it up and eat it in a week or so. So the paddle holder actually makes for a really good secondary rod holder. So I can get through these uh, get through these low spots here. Now, this is actually really low. I'm gonna go all hands now. Oh, camera almost hit. There we go. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic. All right, we made it through. Okay, there's a lot of low hanging trees right now. I don't think I'm even going to attempt to put my pole back up here, but it is really pretty. Just a tip with this rod holder, you can take the rod holder and pivot it down and then that way you can store the rod in a mo more lower profile position. So like when we're going through these trees here, we're not getting them snagged. If I'd be using the rod holders in the back, I would be getting this pole snagged on every one of these low passes like this. So it's actually 
pretty nice to have this rod holder up here. See that big old alligator there? And he's got a Placo fish in his mouth. Look at that. Whoa, he caught himself a nice meal. We're doing our first ocean test of the kayak today. I got here to the beach. This is probably not the best beach for me to come to. Look, there's no clear path for me to get out to the water. This wall is like an eight foot drop down there. But you know what, that's actually a good test because I'm gonna take the kayak and just drop it down this wall and drag it out to the beach there. The water is really calm today. Look at it, it's so beautiful out. We do have a really big storm brewing offshore. So I do need to be careful with that. The storm should stay offshore long enough for me to get a good ocean test in here. But anyway, let's get this thing unhooked and get it in the water. All right, I just carried the kayak on my head all the way down the beach. Really not that bad. I didn't have a problem carrying it like that. I kind of used my head to support some of the weight. If I'm gonna be doing this a lot, I probably am gonna get a kayak dolly so I can wheel the thing down the beach instead. But, you know, in a pinch, you can definitely carry it right down the beach. 100 yards, not a big deal. Okay, this is the rod that I'm taking today. Got my saltwater rod with some braided on it. And I wanna use the paddle strap that comes with the kayak um, i'm gonna go light today i'm not putting this seat on not putting the front rod holder on i'm just gonna use this one rod and i'm gonna use the rear rod holders because i got the storm coming so if i need to get out of here i need to get out of here quick All right. <laughs> obviously it handles the waves very good head on I want to take some side waves and see how it does. Look at this, guys. You can literally surf the waves with this kayak. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. That was a lot of fun. Now, let's go out through the break again and give this thing another test. I'm going to bring the kayak in at an angle to some of the waves, and we're going to see how it does at an angle. There we go. Very good. Nice, you see that? Got the wreckage of a boat down there probably about 20 feet deep it's incredible how crystal clear the water is today oh here it is there's a shark guys check it out that was the shark I got a little swim bait here that I'm gonna troll off the back of the kayak. I'm just gonna enjoy myself paddling. Oh, oh, where are we on? Oh my gosh, I think I got a fish here, guys. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I do, I got a fish! I got a fish! <laughs> oh, I caught one! Woo! I caught one trolling. Ah, stinker. It's a big needle fish. Look at that thing. That's a bad boy. He's got some big teeth on him. I need to make sure that I get my pliers out so I can safely get my lure out of his mouth. Oh no. I am not prepared today. I don't have my fish holder with me. And this guy is like so slippery. I don't think I can even hold him. I'm used to bass fishing and stuff, so I'm not, was, did not come prepared today, but let me put his mouth in there so he can't come back and bite me. We gotta separate his mouth. He's got massive teeth on him. Got it. Look at how sharp those teeth are, guys. 
catch of the day first fish on the kayak and out in the ocean while trolling i'm so happy for this this was so much fun all right let's put this guy back in the water Whoop. all right guys i'm getting really far offshore that's the one thing you got to pay attention when you're out here kayak fishing the other thing too is you got to watch out for the current so we got a current running from south to north probably at a couple miles an hour pretty quick here so uh, when you stop paddling against current you don't even realize it but you're just drifting and drifting away and that's what i did i got pretty far from where i started so again if you're kayak fishing be real careful of that probably a good idea to have a gps and you know what if you really want to be safe you should probably have an eperb while you're out here as well an eperb is an emergency personal locating beacon that you can wear so like let's see i got way offshore my kayak sunk i could go ahead i could hit that eperb and it's going to send a message out to the coast guard or out to search and rescue authorities and they would be able to locate me so if you're going to get into kayak fishing i would definitely recommend having an eperb on you gps locator something like that the wind did pick up a little bit while i was offshore uh, so i got to deal with a little bit of more chop in the shore break here when i'm coming back in but it's still not too bad here we go we're about to get into the surf zone we're gonna catch that wave right there <laughs> oh man, that was fun. Woo! Just rode the shore break right in. That was awesome. I definitely learned a few things. When you come out here in the ocean, you want to make sure that you over prepare. Like I didn't bring enough water. I didn't bring uh, another lure. I should have put the seat back on the kayak. I should have put the other rod holder on. I should have put all the stuff on. Um, I was kind of in a rush because I thought there was a storm coming. So I didn't prepare like I should have, which was a big mistake. So I would say always prepare and don't be in a rush when you're coming out here on the ocean. You want, you don't want to forget anything, especially out here. And you know, if you're having a great time, like I was, uh, I had to cut it short, which was a real bummer. So make sure you prepare so you don't have to cut your time short. Always make sure that your gear is tethered off. So for example, the GoPro and the mount, make sure it's tethered off because I almost lost the thing in like a 30 feet of water. Would have been a bummer. I could have swam down to get it, but you know, that would have been a, 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 a weird situation. There were sharks in the area. I would have had to take my vest off, dive down. Um, I don't have a second person here spotting me. So it wouldn't have been good. So if I would have had my gear tethered off, I, it wouldn't have been an issue. Like I do have my paddle tethered off. So I don't have to worry about dropping that, but I should have had this tethered off. I would say I didn't come prepared. So if you're coming out of the ocean, make sure that you prepare properly. Guys, make sure you bring good footwear with you too. When I came out here, the sand was nice and cool, but the sun's been out all day, so it's really hot. I have these Scoozies shoes. Scoozie shoes, they're like boat shoes, water shoes, but they look really stylish. They don't look nerdy. Um, you can get them wet, no problem. They train, they dry out, they're really awesome. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out Scoozie's shoes. These things are always heavier coming out than they were going in. We did our lake test, river test, ocean test. We even caught some fish. So I think I've got a pretty good idea of what's good about this kayak, what's bad about this kayak. Let me start with what's bad. Let me show you what I don't like about this kayak so far. Obviously, I'm not happy with this seat. The seat pad ripped out about my third use into it and it wasn't very comfortable to begin with. It was very, very thin. Um, so not the best seat bottom. The seat back is okay, but sometimes the straps loosen up and it just keeps getting out of position. And sometimes when I stand up to fish, this falls down. So when I sit back down, I land my butt on the back of the seat. So this seat is kind of annoying, not great. I'm probably gonna upgrade the seat. Okay, the other thing here is these wells. I really do like these wells. I'm gonna find more tackle boxes that are small that can fit right inside the well. I really do like having that right there. But what I don't like is how slippery it is in here. So in the bottom of this well, this tackle box can slide to the back. So if you're moving really quick, sometimes the tackle box slides to the back. I put my hand in here and I couldn't find it. And I actually had to move my stuff and open up the back well and pull it out the back. So I think what I need to do is I need to put some type of divider in there, or I need to put like some uh, rubber mat or something on the bottom of the hull so that when I put things right here, they're gonna stay right here where I want them. So I don't like them sliding away, but I really do like this well right here. Up front, not a big fan of the bungees up front. Um, you know, it's, it's really annoying to get up here and put stuff up in the bungees, but 
it is cool to have them there. This rail blaze up boom camera mount, the, the boom is okay. It, it functions okay. I do, I do like it, but what I don't like is the adapter that goes into the accessory track. So this right here tends to spin and come loose. Not a fan of this adapter. I really do like this starport base right here. So this starport base holds the camera boom very, very securely. So I think I want to install one of those starport bases right up here in front of the track. And then that way I don't have to use the track. Also, you can see on this track, this track is kind of thin mounted this direction. So it's it can get wobbly. I really don't like how much leverage there is on that track. So I'm gonna put another starport right there for the camera mount. The other thing I'm not super happy with, this is the stock paddle strap here. So if you don't have paddle holders right here, you set the paddle on the side of the kayak, you pull this bungee up and you lash it down, which is okay. But they just ran this bungee cord right through holes in the side of the kayak and that does let water in. So I had this inner well totally dry and I did get a bunch of water in. I'm thinking I'm getting it through there. So I think I'm gonna take this bungee off and I'm gonna plug those holes up. So those are my main gripes with the kayak. The flimsy seat, the slippery surface in the bottom of the hull, the weak mount track mount for my camera, and also these holes in the side of the kayak that are letting water in. I love the positioning of the rod holders in the back. It's so easy to turn around, grab the rods, take them out. Also, those are excellent for trolling. I do like the rod holder that comes with the kayak straight from Tractor Supply. It's pretty good. You can turn it in different directions and you can pivot it. So it's really, really versatile. And also it's got this like cuff lock on the top so you can put it in, lock it in, and you know the rod's not gonna fall out. So the rod holders that came with it are really nice. Obviously, I love the accessory tracks that I put on here. They were very cheap, easy to put on, and I just love adding accessories to things, especially this right here. These paddle holders have been so convenient. They allow you to put the paddle in and out very quickly and securely on the side here. Because when you're fishing, you're dealing with your rods. You know, if you have the paddle on your lap or something, it's gonna fall off. If you were to try to use this stock paddle leash here, it just takes too long to put the paddle securely away so you can get to the rods. So remember, we're out here fishing. We wanna to get to those rods as fast as possible. So that's why I like this uh, quick paddle mount right here on the side. And also it's offset, so it allows you to still add other things onto the track and it keeps the paddle over here out of the way of you know you fishing and working and everything. Of course, I told you that I really do like the well in here. I like having these little tackle boxes to put inside the well. And you know, if you had enough of them, you could put a lot of stuff in here. You could also put camping gear, any long thin items that you can fit inside the kayak. You can haul a lot of things inside this kayak. Now, there's kind of a, a recess here for a water bottle. You can put that right there. I do like having the water bottle close and ready to go. Unfortunately, the cup holder that came with this is a little bit too shallow and everything just falls out of it. So I might add an insert to that to make the water holder a little bit better. I do like the bungees up front. I didn't really use these bungees very much because you know when you have your gear stored all the way in the front here, it's a little bit annoying to sit up out of the seat, get forward and pull things out of the forward bungees, but you could always add um, extra things up here. And you know, I know some people put their life jackets and stuff up here. I wear my life jacket for safety, but you could always put it in the bungee up here. Now, while I don't like the seat falling down when I don't want it to, I do like being able to put the seat down because that keeps the butt pad out of the sun and so it doesn't get really, really hot. So I like that there. I like to keep that seat in that position until I'm ready to sit down. Then I can flip it up and I got a nice cool seat to sit onto. I love this paddle leash that I got from Amazon. You know, it's very important not to lose your paddle, especially out in the ocean. So with this paddle leash, really once you clip it on, you never really have to worry about it. And when you're picking up the paddle, putting it in your arms to paddle, the leash really doesn't get in the way. So I would highly, highly recommend getting that paddle leash. The handles that come on this kayak are really, really strong. I've lifted up the entire kayak using those handles. I hope you enjoyed seeing my cheap kayak build. Drop a comment below and let me know what you would have done differently. Also, let me know if there's any cool accessories or anything that I should add to my setup right here. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I appreciate it so much, and I'll see you in the next video.